There's a body of water in the North Atlantic Ocean that's among the fastest warming regions on the entire planet. A recent NASA-funded study links this sharply accelerating warming event with concerning impacts on New England's marine ecosystem and economy. Researchers at Bigelow Laboratory for Ocean Sciences collect data out at sea using a surprisingly cost-effective method, the ferry between Portland, Maine and Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. They're collecting data on temperature, salinity, optical, chemical, and biological observations that can give insight into how fast the Gulf is changing. The team has been taking the pulse of the Gulf for 23 years, a long-term data set that's called the Gulf of Maine North Atlantic Time Series. You need that longer time period to really get a sense of any change that might be happening. The team also uses autonomous gliders that cross the same sampling line. Like the ferry and research crew's data, the gliders collect temperature measurements at the surface and right below the surface of the water. So what does a warmer, saltier Gulf of Maine mean? There's a lot of implications here, but one of the biggest is the effect it has on phytoplankton. Results show that phytoplankton are at least 65% less productive than they were before this major warming event. This could have serious implications for local fisheries, including lobster. You know, the Gulf of Maine is this big resource for the economy of Maine. So understanding what those changes are is what's really important. Anticipating disruptions to phytoplankton productivity is critical to protecting the region's fisheries and the communities that depend on them. <laughs>